Hello, my fellow star seeds and light workers. My name is Caitlin, and I am a spiritual medium. So, essentially, today what we're going to be discussing is density. And over the past few weeks, few months, I have been feeling a lot of it. And I know many of you have been too. So, we're going to discuss this density, and in a way, we're going to give a bit of a energy update regarding what is happening with this density. But, um, yes, anyway, uh, let's get right into it. So, if y'all are new here, I have been working with a group of beings called the Sims, and this message is going to be coming from one of those beings today. And so, essentially, the Sims are a group of insectoid beings. They are not of the same race, however, they are all insect-like. So a being that we're going to be talking to today is Mersha, and we are going to really be looking into the human records humanity holds within this idea of 5D. So I did tap into this a little bit earlier today so I can get a real gauge on what we're going to be discussing today, but (laughs) I'm tapping back. Oh yes, if you do see me making any hand signs or signals, this is how I connect to the group of beings that I'm working with. (laughs) But, um, yeah, so tapping back in, um, essentially what I'm receiving is, it's, I believe it's a TikTok song, but it's into the thick of it, (laughs) and that is basically where we're going, (laughs) and so, (laughs) sometimes, um, extraterrestrials can have a bit of sense of humor, (laughs) But, um, yeah, so anyway, we are uprooting all of this density, and yes, my ring ring light did just shut off, but we're uprooting all of this density, and we're going into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. So, yes, so in order to, uh, um, have humanity, the collective, all shift into this new frequency... We, in part, need to uproot all of this density so our, yeah, so in part, our systems don't entirely, um, become shocked, if that makes sense. There we go. (laughs) But, um, yeah, so essentially we're uprooting all of this density so that we can shift into this new earth. Now, I'm going to discuss what this new earth is in a little bit. But right now, I, what I want to move into is the overall energy and how this density kept progressing over the past few months. Now, I haven't done any energy updates. However, I have been... <laughs> very attuned to the energy that has been coming through here and i know many of you have been really experiencing this dense dense energy and so yeah i'm going to start discussing the overall energy so starting with march march was a bit of a doozy so essentially what march what the energy of march was meant to do was to in a way it was like the one of the major points where all of this energy came out of our system. So what I'm what I'm seeing is like you're uh, taking a carrot out of the ground, but it gets stuck. And so all you're seeing is the very top of that carrot. And yes, okay, so yes. Um essentially it's scratching much of the surface that is the overall energy march was holding this idea of the density we're receiving this density for uh, um, one of the first times and so it was a lot and now moving into april pardon Okay, but yes, so moving into April, so, okay, 
the energy that I had been receiving for April was in a way this idea of uh, a shit show but a shit show being if there is still if there is this idea of bypassing going on within your field and so it could be really really dense where it kind of expanded on March or it could have been very light as in learning from what your experience is within March and so depending on how much you entirely (laughs) how much you entirely um took the lessons within March into consideration April was either the idea of the shit show or it was very light and airy (laughs) now moving on to May I am sensing a bit of a lighter energy. However, May has not come yet. So, stay tuned for a video on that. (laughs) Alright, now let's get back to the main topic, the main focal point of this video. Density. So, I know I've been feeling very, very dense over the past few weeks, over the past few months. It's been a lot, and I know that I'm not the only one feeling this way. So, you know what? If you have been feeling this way, you know what? You can comment down below what you've been experiencing over the past few weeks and months. (laughs) But, um, yeah, so essentially what this dense energy has been bringing is this idea of no energy to low energy, no motivation to low mo- <laughs> no motivation to low motivation. Uh-um. The only word that I can describe this feeling is blah. <laughs> and so really, lately, I've been craving a lot of dense food. Fast food. Junk food all of it and in part because the collective is uprooting all of this energy some of us are still experiencing the after effects of all of this energy and we are oh okay so some of us that might be experiencing this really dense energy some of us are really feeling into the collective what the collective is experiencing And so we turn to these dense areas because in part that is, that is what the collective is experiencing. And so we're feeling very, very dense and we're turning to these very, very dense things. (laughs) But that's more so because we are uprooting within ourselves, but as the collective as a whole everyone is uprooting and so okay yes i do believe that this was used in a previous video but what i'm seeing is um it's like that toddler toy that the toddlers push it and the balls like start bumping around (laughs) we're we're inside that small sphere and all of those little balls that are bouncing around are really just all of those energies that aren't entirely transmuted yet but are being uprooted and so essentially that's yeah that's what we're experiencing okay so what does this uprooting of energy really have to do with this shift into the new earth shift into the 5d well (laughs) So to an extent, this idea of this shift, we can't move into the 5D unless we work on the traumas, the lower vibrational energies, all the sticky stuff that we haven't entirely worked through. And so to an extent, it's we're uprooting all of these things so we can, in a way work through them, let them go, and make our shift into the 5D. 
Now, within moving into this 5D new Earth, well, there are a few timelines being displayed within the now moment. And the reason why all of this density has been coming through is in part because we have been placed on a Pardon. <laughs> so there are some elemental beings uh, um, that sometimes come into my home. And <laughs> that was one of them. There we go. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> so anyway, um, where we are. So two main timelines. So essentially, we have been moved, shifted onto a higher vibrational timeline that's where we're really speeding up and so rather than the entirety of the earth plane moving into the 5d what is entirely um somewhat of what i'm seeing is this idea of the overlay placed on the earth plane so essentially it kind of It's kind of like the entire planet shifting as a whole, but at the same time, us moving into a timeline that is pushed further. So it's kind of like moving into the idea of the future, but then again, time is an illusion. <laughs> but, um, at, okay, at least within other realms. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so it kind of looks like something being placed over the earth plane and so the entirety of humanity being whooshed whooshed <laughs> into this new earth plane and so to an extent those are the two main timelines so the one being the entirety of the collective shifting into the 5d within the now moment which is one of the lower vibrational timelines compared to what we are experiencing in the now moment. So the next one being the idea of the overlay. And so basically something being placed over the earth plane and the entirety of our system being skyrocketed into the future plane with in this overlay yes and so the sims these beings marcia they really work within this idea of the human records of humanity and so really there are quite a number of timelines that our ascension can really take but this is one of the major shifts that we've experienced over, well, in a while. <laughs> and so because this new shift is happening and it's so rapid, we are experiencing all of the density. <laughs> and so essentially, um, one way that we can really work through that is in part finding ways to stay heart-centered and really find ways to do what you love. Now, that's not to say that that's not to say that you're not heart-centered in the now moment or that you're not doing what you love, but taking more taking more time time <laughs> to um, really focus on your passions and really work through your traumas and triggers so that you can really lift up that energy, uproot it, uproot that density. But, um, yeah, so even the smaller things like sitting outside or taking a walk, those types of things can help in part ground you into 
your consciousness into the earth plane and it can really alleviate some of these denser aspects. <laughs> okay y'all, so I had only planned to really work with Mersha from The Sims today, but there does seem to be another being that wants to step in who has also spoken on this channel before. Um, Myth, who is also from The Sims, but he would like to note that the idea of the idea of the overlay. So the overlay on the earth plane is <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. so the overlay on the earth plane is a more rapid shift upon the earthly timeline. So it's wants to myth wants to keep the word skyrocketing because essentially that's what we're going to be doing skyrocketing into uh, the future earth plane but also wants to note that this uprooting is meant to in part sometimes um sometimes his energy is uh very strong <laughs> so yes yeah, so in part um shifting the consciousness into that new earth plane new earth plane when it is to an extent a future timeline new earthly timeline <laughs> and so our den the density that we are experiencing in the now moment is uh, in part the idea of uh, to assist us into this shift because the shift is the more dominant timeline in the now moment since we have in part shifted into this new timeline yeah well that is all that we have today uh, um make sure you to like and subscribe if you haven't already follow me on my social medias at sprinkle of spirituality with underscores in between the words on Instagram and at sprinkle spi <laughs> and at sprinkle spirituality with underscores in between the words on TikTok. <laughs> but um, yes, comment if you have any questions down below, and I might just get to them in a future video. And with that, peace.